Hi everyone, today I want to talk about how to be a confident English speaker if you're a foreigner like me and English isn't your native language. I'm Norwegian, I live in London, which of course means that I use my English way more than I use my Norwegian. And when you live abroad, you have to get to a point where you're comfortable with your life taking place in another language. If you're not used to using English freely on a day-to-day -day basis, then it's gonna take a bit of adjustment if you do choose to move abroad and if that is something that's scaring you, I want to encourage you to move abroad because this is one of the best decisions I've ever made and I want to encourage other people to do the same thing. First of all, don't stress too much about it. English is a pretty versatile language, so you can phrase things in a lot of different ways and it will still make sense. Some languages are very set, like you have to phrase the sentence this exact way, but in English you can do a lot of different things and it will still make sense and it will still sound good. And even if you phrase things in a weird way, people will still understand, even if it sounds weird. Most people are gonna be very nice and they are gonna try and understand. Even if you're saying things wrong, they're gonna really try and understand what you mean. And also, if you live in a multicultural city, such as London, a lot of the people you meet aren't gonna be native English speakers either so you're in the same boat. You're never gonna be the only foreigner, so don't worry too much about it. And also, native speakers mess up too. A lot of people as well, they always say that foreigners are better, their English is better than, you know, the native English speakers because we care a lot more, because we really want to get it right. Another important thing to do when you're talking is to try and stay calm so that you don't end up, you know, erring and, uh, you know, searching for the words in your brain. Try and just stay calm. Think before you speak, try and plan out your sentences a little bit and you won't look as confused or as, you know, as you're struggling. It's just a way to sound more confident because if you kind of plan out what you're gonna say, then you don't have to constantly be pausing and searching for words and erring and umming. It doesn't sound great and especially if you're talking to, I mean, if you just got here and you're talking to, you know, potential employers and all this, it's nice if you can try and stay calm so that you don't mess up even more. But it is fine to mess up. I have messed up so much and I mean, I still mess up every now and then. It's gonna happen. But as I said, English people mess up too. You just need to know it's not the end of the world. And if you go to a job interview and you say something weird or you kind of like mess up or you take a long pause to think of a word, I think if you are a decent person with the right skills, I don't think they're gonna remember, that's gonna be the thing they remember from your whole interview. Another thing to do is to try and not use the same word over and over again. So try and use synonyms and try to phrase sentences differently, use different words, and also coming from a writer's point of view, try and not use so and very that much because there are better words that you can use that express things more. For instance, instead of saying so pretty, you can say beautiful. It just sounds better and you shouldn't really need a word to build up your adjective. Using different words also makes it sound like you have a better vocabulary, which literally is what it is, but it makes you sound more confident and that you have a bigger understanding of the language and it's, it's just good. Okay, this is something that people used to pick on me for, not in a rude way, but you know, uh, at uni when we would do writing, for the assignments that we did in class that we didn't, you know, go home and work on, we just r wrote it down and then we read our first draft out loud. And I would use the same word several times that I could have easily used a different word for, but I just did it out of, you know, convenience, I guess. And don't be lazy. I'm. It's not necessarily being lazy, but you know, just try and think of different words that you're using. Show off your vocabulary. It looks really good. Another thing that you're probably already doing, but watch TV shows in English, listen to English music, do as many things as you can to soak up new words, broaden your vocabulary, just get in as much input as you can because it's gonna really help you. When you hear a new word and you think, oh, that's a nice word. I'm gonna use that because that person sounded smart when they said that. So I'm gonna say that because then people think I'm smart. Sorry about the traffic noise, by the way. I have to open my curtains to get some light in for filming and it has been raining. So the road is wet, so it, it makes even more noise. So yeah, keep working on your English. My English is now fluent. It feels so good to take off the fluent box and you know, those forms where, we, where you fill out skills and such. I believe that anyone can get to the fluent box as long as you work hard and you really try to improve your English. And it's gonna be a constant thing. You're gonna constantly, you know, learn new words and it's fun. Oh, the feeling when you use a new word that makes you feel smart. Oh. It's such a good feeling, guys. And genuinely, if I struggle to express myself, people are always nice and trying to, you know, find the right word for me or trying to help me, you know, express myself. But I do recognize that I am privileged coming from a country that starts, you know, teaching kids English 
from a very young age so I have a very good you know base which I wish every country did that because it would be incredibly helpful and everyone needs to know English at some level now because I mean not everyone but most people especially if you plan to travel maybe the most important advice especially for me that this is actually for everything in life not just language but just get used to making fun of yourself if you make mistakes. Being able to laugh at your mistakes makes everything so much easier, so much more relaxed. And trust me, I have made mistakes that I, I've i said things that I don't even want to, you know, retell here because I don't want the internet to hear them because they were so messed up. But yeah, if you do say something that is really dumb or even inappropriate, like me, laugh at it. It makes it so much easier. And if you can laugh at it, then, you know, everyone else will kind of you know laugh with you instead of at you at least in my experience and guys i've lived abroad for a long time i've lived in two english speaking countries and if that is what's stopping you from moving abroad don't let that hold you back honestly people will support you and you're not gonna be the only foreigner there's foreigners everywhere and the people you're talking to are gonna know you're a foreigner even if you don't tell them your accent's gonna give you away in two seconds so it's not like they don't know that English isn't your first language. They're not gonna be hard on you, so don't be hard on yourself. Don't beat yourself up if you make a mistake because everyone makes them. But yeah, I hope I made my point clear. I hope you can benefit from my advice. And if you have any questions, I'm always happy to answer them in the comments below. Or if you wanna message me on Instagram, it's nice to know you're not the only one and you definitely aren't. But it is nice to talk to someone who's in the same situation or has been in the same situation, so. I'm here if you all need me. All right. <laughs> if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and I shall see you next Friday. Keep up the good vibes. Bye.